Okay. Hey, my name is Greg Clotel. I'm an illustrator, and this is my channel where I talk about sketchbook stuff and illustration. We're going to talk today about a few strategies for iteration. What is iteration? It's doing the same thing over and over and over again. But it's not really that. It's actually doing things differently each time. Doing the thing once, and then you, you improve on it. And then you do it again, you improve on that, and then you do it again and you improve on that. And it's through doing the same thing over and over again that you can try to get close to your style. This is gonna be taking a reference photo and then you're gonna draw that reference photo a few times, let's say seven times. With each drawing, you're gonna learn something about the previous drawing and make some changes, simplify, strip things back, exaggerate, push it, pull it. Make the drawing different from what it was before. Now, what do I mean? This is what I mean. This is Johnny Ramone from the Ramones. See that drawing? That's drawing number one. You take the photo and you draw it. You're looking at your reference and you're copying it pretty close. You're going to think about shadow. You're going to think about proportion, you're just trying to get the drawing right, you know, you're trying to look at it, you're trying to copy it, basically. Two, you're going to take what you learned from drawing one, and then you're going to go to drawing two, and you're going to try to move a little bit further away from the reference. You're still going to use the reference, but you're now just trying to recreate what you just did. Don't really think about number two. The second one is just do it again. That's, that's the point. Three, this one's a good one. See number three? That's a pretty good drawing. It's got more of like uh, my own thing going on with it, but it's still a little realistic. It's not really cartoony like I'm going for. Now I know how this drawing works. Now I kind of have it in my fingers. I have the drawing in my head, but I still need to draw it a few times more to get it to really make a leap. This is where it gets interesting. Number four, I start simplifying it. I start to break it up into some shapes, seeing how far I can push it. Now that I've done that, six and seven, that's the good stuff. That's where you wanna be. Those are better than the original. They're like looking stylized, looking cartoony, exaggerated. That's like the style. That's like what I'm going for. That's what I like. That's what I wanted. I don't want this one, which is pretty cool, but it's very close to the photograph. I want that one. One of those. I think number six is the best. Number seven's good too. Point is, I drew it seven times. Now it's in my head. Now I can draw it anytime. And also I know like out of these seven, this is the kind of style that I respond to personally that I want my, the rest of my work to look like. So this gives me a good kind of goal to move towards. So that was Johnny Ramone. This is Lee Scratch Perry, same exercise. This is Erica Badu, same exercise. Version five, that's the good one. But it took all those other versions to get there. You can really push it further and further away and it can move completely far away from where you started and this sketchbook is just full of this, this exercise. So I think it's really good to develop your, develop your style and you know, move past the beginning stages of like copying and and just make some discoveries about about your work. And with each drawing, you know, you can make small changes or you can make big, big leaps. I did this in the beginning of my illustration journey when I was like really just at the beginning stages of trying to get work and build a portfolio. And this exercise really helped me because I learned some things about my work. When I did this, I was like, mm, this first version is not cutting it. This last one or the ones in between, that's getting more to a place where I'm like, oh yeah, like I, I feel like that's, that's looking cool. That's kind of like where I wanna go. Just even that little bit of information helped me to just say like, well, how do I push all my other work that way? That's what we're trying to get to. We're trying to get to that place where there's no more iterating that maybe needs to happen to discover your style because you found it. Try it out. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Subscribe. What do you got to lose? This is just fun. 
I'm just drawing pictures, you know? Just draw. And then you'll be happy. This is the equation. Just draw. That's it. Just gotta draw. And this is a good exercise to help you get better at it, maybe. Just look at something, draw it, draw it again, change it up. Draw it, draw it, and you're done. Iteration, 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 do it, iteration, do it.